Hey everyone, I'm Frank, one of the co-founders for Anari. Anari is the hub for unifying your customer feedback, then using AI to automatically analyze and extract key insights at scale. So instead of reviewing hundreds of pages of customer interviews or sifting through thousands of feedback submissions manually, you can use Anari to automatically label any interesting quotes, top feature requests, critical bugs, and sentiment, then organize it into actionable themes, summaries, or backlog items for your team. So imagine you're a product manager or a user researcher. You're conducting anywhere from five to 10 long user interviews per week and have hundreds of customer feedback submissions flowing in from sales and support tools like Salesforce and Zendesk. You're trying to get a sense on what the main opportunity areas are in order to build a case for which features should come next, but it's a huge hassle to come through all that feedback, pull out exemplary quotes, and organize everything into something that's understandable. So we're working on a fictional project management company called Acme. Acme organizes its feedback sources and insights for each team in a different space. Let's enter the UX research space here. I can connect a different set of feedback sources in each space. So Inari is built to handle both structured and unstructured data sources. This includes any random docs and PDFs from your unstructured user interviews or managing CSVs or tables of structured customer feedback that comes in from tools like Salesforce or Slack. So here, I've dropped in a bunch of PDFs of customer interview transcripts. Inari parses through all of these data sources, then consolidates this into one unified customer feedback hub. Once your feedback sources are connected, you can view a synced view of that feedback here. I want to analyze some of those customer interview notes here. So let's jump into a detail page. In the detail page, I can use AI to read through and take a first stab at that analysis. Inari labels any notable quotes, categorizes sentiment, and notes which feature requests, defects, and praises that occur. All of these labels are stored in our insights table. Insights can include any themes, top feature requests, bugs, or poor experiences causing defects or positive praises to note. I can use AI to go through any connected feedback source, analyze the main insights, then aggregate that here. Once the insight keywords are generated, I can also use AI to parse through my connected feedback sources, look for mentions of these insights, then log any notable quotes and how frequently they've been mentioned. I now have a consolidated set of themes from my users that I can go and use for event planning. So it seems like the volume of notifications and how complex the UI and UX are the top dimensions. However, some users are getting incorrectly charged after cancellation, which is a huge red flag. So let's, let's see what's going on. For each insight, I can get a quick summary of what's going on and a unified view for all the customers and mentions related to it. Uh, it seems like three customers that got charged even after they canceled based on some of these quotes. I can use this as inspiration as I'm writing up my epics or issues, then push it to, the, to my project management tool of choice. Uh, if I want to track these feedback trends over time, I can jump over to the analytics tab. So here, I can get a quick sense of how much feedback is coming in from where and what the overall sentiment is. Then I can see a good time series of those insights by month and some of the quotes to go and pair with them. Cool. Uh, thanks for watching. We'd love to work with any product design or research teams where Anari can be helpful for helping you stay on top of delivering the best user experience. Thank you.